5. Damien Wesley, the convicted murderer accused of shooting two 13-year-old girls on Sunday, is behind bars tonight. But even after his capture, there's still many questions about the crime and why he pulled the trigger on those two young girls. New at 5.30, Megan O'Rourke with how school officials are helping students as they also struggle to understand. It's been two days since cousins Alante Culpepper and Brianna Rogers were shot inside this house on Home Avenue. At last check, Culpepper was still in the hospital, struggling to survive. Rogers died at the scene. The senseless shooting has shaken not only the community, but the school where the girls were enrolled. Brianna was in the eighth grade here at City Day Charter in downtown Dayton. The school was closed on Monday, so students and staff could grieve in private, but reopened today. The school principal tells me they had five to eight counselors on hand throughout the day for anyone who needed to talk, and some classes spent time making cards for Brianna's family. Brianna was said to be a great kid with a warm smile and always willing to give a hug. She came to City Day last spring, but before that spent time at Kettering Middle School. School officials there tell me they made grief counselors available to her former classmates on Monday. Alante is enrolled in the eighth grade at Wagaman Elementary in Dayton, although Dayton City School officials tell us she does mostly home instruction. Reporting in Dayton, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News.